Hello, this week we are talking about texture. And so for this project, we're gonna be making our own textural sweaters. We're gonna be drawing them. I have an example right here. For this project, you're going to want a piece of paper. Oop, got some stuff on there. Scissors, because we're gonna cut it out at the end. A pencil and an eraser, definitely our art tool basics. And then you want something to color in with. I have colored pencils and a sharpener. And I have some markers as well. I already have an example right here. We're gonna try to at least have six different textures, but on here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this yellow part is eight. So we're gonna try out some different textures on our sweater. You can make your sweater however you'd like, but I'm gonna show you how to draw the basic shape for your sweater. And then we'll start talking more about textures. So to start right towards the top of our paper, we wanna make a curved line. I'm gonna draw this kind of light because I might go back and change it. A curved line. That is going to be the neck of our sweater. We want to bring two lines down the side like this, and we want to curve them a little bit. That's like the shoulders of the sweater. Now, right about where I have my neckline ending, I'm adding in some straight lines, and these are going to be my sleeves. And then I'm going to draw a straight line, I might want to make my sleeves a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna bring these lines together. So I made my curve line, my shoulder lines, and then I looked at where my neckline was so I could add in my side lines. You could make your sleeves longer if you want, you could make them a little bit shorter if you want, but then I'm bringing my lines down. So now all we have is making for sure that both sides look even. I think this one looks a little bit wider, so I'm gonna skinny it up go back and erase like that and then coming off the sides of our sleeves we're gonna make it just a little bit longer and this is the basic start to our sweater we can go back and make this a little bit wider if we want to change up the shape just a little bit and kind of play around with it because I'm writing really lightly it makes it easier for me to go back and erase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start thinking about what different textures I could add in here. Really any sort of really tight pattern could be considered a texture. I'm going to move this up just a little bit just so you can see all of it. I have some different examples of textures on here whether you do prickly, pointy, scaly, you could do a soft texture. Here's some more on the back side. You could even come up with your own textures but I'm going to start, and I have already decided I want to add a drippy texture to my sleeves. So on my sleeves area, what I'm going to do is starting out kind of right here, I'm going to add in some wavy lines, kind of stacked on top of each other for the drippy texture for my sleeves, like that. I think I'm going to bring even the sides. So once we have this basic shape drawn, we can go back in and start adding in those textures. So like I said, I'm gonna use my sleeves to create a drippy texture, adding in some wavy lines. And if you see, I didn't go all the way down because I wanna add a different texture for right in here. And I think what I'm gonna do for these areas is at the very end, I'm gonna add a texture and I want it to look really poofy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some lines all next to each other. I'm just kind of getting down the shape. It's really gonna to come to life once I start coloring this in. But I'm just showing you how I'm adding in some different textures. So now I am up to two right here by adding in that. I think around my neckline, I want to add in a new texture. And for this texture, I'm looking at my texture seat to see what I would like to do. I think I'm going to make my 
neckline be like kind of bumpy. So I'm gonna add in a bumpy line all around. And then go back in and add in some more of those bumps. So now I have three textures. But we're gonna keep going. So I have my drippy sleeves. I think I wanna make a circle right here. And in this circle, I'm gonna make it a fuzzy texture. So I'm going to go in and start adding in little lines to make it look like it's kind of fuzzy. Like that. And I can go back and color this in to make it look even more fuzzy to really push that. Right now I'm just starting out with my drawing. So now I have one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and add in another line right here. And I'm going to add in a big triangle, but I'm going to repeat this shape kind of similar to what I have right here because I really like how that came out. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to repeat this triangle shape and now I have one, two, three, four, five textures. But I'm going to try to fit in even more because I have this big open area at the bottom of my sweater. I'm at four textures. And I think I'm going to go in for a few more. I'm going to scoot this underneath here. And I think I'm going to add at the bottom here. I think I'm going to add some scales. So I'm going to add curved lines to give it kind of a scaly texture. And I'm going to keep adding in some more textures into this open area. And we will look at it whenever I have that all drawn in. So I'm going to keep going with my scales and figure out what I want to put in here. And then we're going to start coloring it in. So I finished up my scales and I decided to add kind of a wood texture and a spot texture. So we have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different textures, which I'm happy with. You're going to try, yeah, we'll see, probably five to six. But I'm going to pick out some colors and I'm going to start coloring this in so it can really come to life. So I'm going to work on coloring in some different sections and I will check in with you to see how it's coming. All right, so I've been working on getting it all outlined so I can color it in, but you can see how it's going along. We've talked about color already, but a lot of this is um, picking a color palette that you like as well to use for your sweater and kind of repeating those same colors makes it a lot easier. So that's what I've been doing. So I'm gonna keep working on this and then we will look at it as I continue to color it and look at it once it's finished. So I got it completely outlined with my markers, which I think will really help my textures. So now I'm going to go back in, color it in, cut it out, and I will be finished. You can see where I practice some colors, but I have this all colored in and finished. So now I am going to cut it out and then we will be all done. So if you look carefully, I have my drippy texture. I have these poofs that are textures. I have these lines that are textured. This is a texture. I added in these scales for texture. This is a new texture. That's a new texture. And there's another texture. So this is filled with a bunch of textures. I'm going to work on getting it cut out the best that I can. And then we will look at it once it's all cut out and complete. All right, I have my texture sweater complete. Here's the one that I showed you earlier. Here's the one that I just made. I think it's a little more funky than this one even. I like how this one came out. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, or afternoon. Bye.